Hey, this is Kevin Flerlage. I'm just recording a quick follow-up to John's video. Some of the things he mentioned, I just kind of want to address, and uh, we'll do it real quickly here. So he was dragging in a reference band. It was kind of showing it both vertically and horizontally. I'll show you how we can avoid that. So I'm going to do it with a reference line just because I think it's a little more clear, but I went up to the analytics pane and I dragged this in, and he just dropped it here. What was happening, I'll just leave this as average, it was just showing both of these vertical and horizontal lines. Now, if we undo that, we drag this on again, we can see we have this option up here for sales and profit. I'll just keep it simple. I'm just going to drop it on sales, and we're going to have only a vertical reference line. If I do the opposite, drop it on profit, we're going to have only this reference line for profit. So that's how you can do it with, by dragging it on. Now, my preferred method by far is to just use the axis to add reference lines and reference bands. So I can just right click on the axis and hit add reference line and it will add that reference line. I can do the same thing down here, add reference line, and it's going to add this vertical reference line. Okay. We can always right click and remove those if we want. Now, one other thing he addressed is the, this label here. He didn't know how to, um, to format that label. It's actually really simple. We just right click on this line, click format and come up here to shading. It's set to 50% opacity. I'm just going to bring that down to zero and I'm going to change this label, maybe a little bit larger. And we can see we don't have that white background anymore. And, uh, the, the label's a little bit larger. That's really it. Just want to address a few things that John mentioned and, uh, can't wait to do it again soon. Thanks.